Okay, today at DT Precision Automotive, we've got a Toyota Hilux in. It's an 09, three litre turbo diesel, 1KD FTV engine. Um, we're going to be doing a decarbon to this vehicle. It's got 140,000 kilometres on it. The customers come from a far distance to have this done. Um, what we'll do is do the injectors first, we'll run that solution through a couple of times and then I've taken it for a drive and it seems underpowered to me. So and it sounds a little bit diesel knocky as well. So hopefully we can rectify all that through this preventative maintenance that we do with this decarboning. Uh, and then we'll go into the intake system, we'll take the intercooler off and clean that, see how dirty everything is and anyway we'll go through the process as we'll be using the BG products. You can't buy these products just locally, it's, it's um, industry only, so anyway, hopefully we get a good outcome out of this. Okay, so we've got the diesel side of it hooked up, we've got a couple of bottles of solution running through this. It's nice and yellow, clear at the moment. What happens is it's quite dark. Like, well, actually, the engine is not as knocking already. So we'll run this through, it'll just take a little while running through those injectors, maybe half an hour or more. Okay, so we've finished the injection side of things. Um, we've pulled out the air filter and the air mass meter. It's very, very dirty in here. I'm going to wash all this out. This lid's got all orange dust everywhere, everywhere all throughout the whole thing. Make sure the, the drain plug's free as well. It's got a lot of crap down in there. In the intake side of things, it's quite dirty down in there. It doesn't look too bad, but it, it's quite dirty. So we're now going to perform the um, the induction side of things, which is a really big clean. Okay, so I've um, cleaned out the air filter box, cleaned the air mass meter, had a look in through the throat of the throttle body. That's not too bad. Now I've hooked up the um, vortex thing, inject that nozzle into the uh, throttle body. So we've got one bottle of the solution running through it now. We'll mostly run two through it. We ran through to the injector system. Uh, we'll let that run. I'm just going to it up. I need to replace the hose. The hose is split. The hose is inside. It's not too bad. And this intercool. So this system's quite good. But, uh, we're going to replace the engine air filter. That's all awesome. We apparently had the fuel filter replaced 3,000 days ago, so we're not going to do that. That's it. Okay, so we've got it run. Alright, it's been running for about 15 minutes now. As you can see, there's a lot of carbon deposits coming out, out of the back. I think we'll end up running two bottles through this the way that's going. I just thought I'd pull the throttle body off just so you could see how clean it was or we could see how clean it was inside there it's done a quite a good job you can see the um, EGR valve the throttle body is like pretty brand new again so it's all quite good there still is a lot of carbon in there you can see it's it's all softened up it should flow through um, the exhaust system and burn all that off so it's looking looking pretty good we'll put it all back together just take it for a run So we're just draining the engine oil now. As you can see, she's steaming, a steaming turd. Be nasty, eh, Sammy? Indeed. Nasty, nasty. It's very dirty, very dirty. Good stuff. Okay, 
guys, so we've come to the end of this one. We'll do the camera, we'll come out of the fuel entity to the tank. This one's responded very, very well. I reckon it's going twice as good as what it did when it first came in. Through the whole rev range, particularly the mid range, it's got plenty of power and it's like it's going to wheel spin the wheels. So the customer is very happy with this one. That's, that's the end of it. New oil, new filters, fuel additive, all good to go.